Hey, Jay Clark here. Got a really cool project we're going to get started on. Uh, going to show how we tear this thing down and do a full restore in this KTM 200 XCW. Really cool bike, great off-road bike. Um, they're hard to find a good deal on. We found a good deal on this one. We're going to fix it up. We're going to lower it. We're going to make it really trick for, uh, for Junior to go trail riding on. And uh, we're going to get started now. The 200 Project's moving right along, as you can see, uh, basically done. Uh, came out just incredible. Really cool project uh, to build a trail bike for, uh, for my kid. And uh, here's a look at everything we did to this thing to make it fully trail worthy. So the first thing on this bike is we completely rebuilt the engine. We used Hot Rod's bottom end kit. It's a complete kit, rebuilt the entire bottom end. We paired that up with a Vertex piston in the cylinder. Millennium was actually able to replate the stock cylinder to the Vertex piston. The Hot Rod's crank was rebalanced by Crankworks to really match the piston weight. It cuts down drastically on the vibration of the motor. Moto Tastinary supplied their V-Force reed cage. Very good reed cage. Provides really good action. Helps the bike to jet really well. The IMS tank of course is kind of the, one of the standards out there as far as large fuel tanks. In this case we wanted to make sure that this two stroke which uses more fuel than most four strokes was able to stay out all day with the four strokes that we're riding. The FMF Fatty partnered up with a Turbine Core 2 Spark Rester Legal Silencer. Great combination, works really well. Since we're going to be on the trails pretty heavily we went with the P3 Carbon Protection for the pipe as well as the skid plate below that has a really good wraparound full coverage protection. CV4 hoses look very cool. Had to do a little customizing. They don't have an exact kit for this bike. We were able to patch up some kits and make this thing work on this bike. Since we had the complete engine out and the suspension off, we went ahead and powder coated the frame. San Diego powder coating took care of it. Thing looks gorgeous. Factory Connection was able to set up the suspension. The stock KTMs are a bit tall on most bikes as a whole. We were able to shorten this thing up just a little bit. Factory Connection did so and they made it really plush. And the suspension seems to work well for short chubby dad as well as a lot thinner junior kid. Trail Tech has really good lighting. We would upgraded to the added coil to provide excellent output to the X2 light. So we have really strong power to these headlights. So if we get stuck out in the trail late, we're getting back with our with our headlights. Tugger makes front and rear pulls for this bike. The rear fender in the KTM isn't a good place to pick up, especially, so you want to have that strap back there. If you get stuck in some places, you got to help pull out. Again, Tusk makes a good, just a long list of parts for this bike. From a rear brake pedal, rear rotor, front oversized rotor kit, front brake line, complete wheels with hubs, spokes, rims, all complete. An O-ring chain, along with a shifter. For the Henson clutch, we added their fiber and spring clutch plates, along with their outer cover for added oil capacity. Chuck at Metal Tech to help us lower the subframe. He's able to weld up and modify the holes. We can actually lower the subframe a little bit. That, along with Moto Seat, was able to lower the seat foam just a tiny bit and not give up any feel of the seat with a proper taper on it match up to a new seat. This allows for a really good stance on the bike for a, a rider who's not quite as experienced in the trails. He's able to touch a whole lot easier. For protection on this bike, up top we went with Sykra's wraparound handguards, full protection. They mount up to the 604 Renthal bars. These bars provide plenty of room and good flex. Here we've added the KTM added support for the front fender. On these older bikes, the design allowed them to flop a lot. This piece keeps them from flopping around nearly as much. Applied triple clamps, really a nice piece to this bike. We had to custom inset the bolts and use some sunken bolts to clear the tank. We actually bent the tank in. IMS has a good system for doing that. Obviously, you want to do it before you ever have fuel on the bike. We wanted to get full turning radius in this bike, so we heated up the tank out in the sun and with a heat gun, and we were able to crush it in. We had an axle in between the triple clamp and the fuel tank. And as we moved it in, we poured ice cold water on it, and it ducked right in place. Simple deal. 
We've got our Uni filter here. And right here we have our Motion Pro overflow bottle. On an off-road bike, you can overheat real easily. In the tight stuff, so we want to have an overflow. They, they have a nice bottle here that you can then route to wherever you can make do. We found some room in the air box. The Motion Pro overflow bottle is a fairly easy install as long as you follow the instructions. They have two different ways of setting it up, depending upon what's best for your application. Here's a good look at our Trail Tech kickstand. Really nice piece. We're able to shorten it up. Since the bike has shorter suspension, we want the bike to sit nice. We actually remove the lower foot plate. Remove this piece, you can actually just pull it out, and then we actually marked it and cut about a half inch off of this shaft right here and reinstalled it. Once we shorten the kickstand, it sits at a nice, nice height for anywhere on concrete or on dirt. So as you can see, we built this thing with some of just the best parts. It's good, reliable. The bike runs really well at altitude with just small amount of jetting changes, a lot of air screw. Bike just runs incredibly well. For a small guy up to a big guy, the bike works well everywhere. The crank being balanced by crank works really cut down on the vibration. This bike is incredible. All these pieces are available right through RockyMountainATVMC.com.